What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, in residency, we do a lot of training. We do work with cadavers, we go to lectures, we, we just practice, we watch videos and you know, to uh, learn surgery. We do a lot of our training at our home program, like in San Antonio, we do a lot of our training in San Antonio. But we also travel a lot to different states, different events. I'm on the way to Denver, Colorado, where we're doing a spine course and we're going to work on some cadavers, have some lectures, and it's also a great way to network. So, Denver, Colorado, I've never been before, but I want to take you guys along. Here we go. So I just got to the uh, airport. If you guys travel a lot, say for instance you're going on interviews for medical school or for residency, uh, check out TSA PreCheck. I just got this, as it means that you don't have to wait in line. You don't have to take off your shoes or take out take out of your uh, your laptop. You can just walk right through. I'm about to uh, try for the first time. So I just went through a TSA pre-check. It does save you time. Uh, you don't have to take out your laptop or take off your shoes, take off your belt. Um, it is, I think it's the price was $85 for uh, five years or so. That would give you five years of going through the airport, especially if you travel a lot like myself. Uh, definitely check it out. It's called TSA PreCheck. All right, I just got to the uh, hotel. We have a dinner tonight, which some spine surgeons will uh, give some lectures. Also, we'll do some networking um, here in Denver, Colorado. It's kind of chilly outside, but um, Denver is a very beautiful city. About to head out to dinner. Here we go. I'll take you guys take you guys down there with me. Here we go. Those who are starting this, who really believe, oh boy, I want to make sure the nerves are free. It staged the operation, that's what he used to do. He did the levels, got them up and walking for two days, and then two days later went back into the posterior operation. If they got up and they said, boy, my, my leg pain's gone, the claudication's resolved. Exactly. That station is, you gotta have the arm, you know, have the, uh, the black handle facing it, which is the downward pressure. Yeah. Can't get if I do two docks and I still can't get a low threshold, relatively low threshold, meaning five or above, then I'll do a shallow dock. Then I'll do an open like a shallow dock and a direct look. Otherwise, shallow I'll dock means uh, on stock the lateral aspect of the cell. Someone brought that up yesterday. It's a good point. You want to kind of use these as you're opening the blade, as you're towing, as you're opening the blade. You want to kind of push it down so that you can. Uh, stay out of the way. Remember the ascending lumbar vein, which is varying in course for those of you who do four or five A-lifts, is there. It's generally okay if you kind of nudge into it. Thank you. 